they're pretty people. You don't can get away with anything. No matter how beautiful you've been, you don't get away with anything. So get a straight point. Even if you've been the most beautiful person on the whole world, one day you become ugly, you become grey, and you get anything back which you have or have uh, done with somebody else. So focus more on your insights, become more and better person. And uh, do uh, to others just like you want to be treated yourself. Being kind to others, don't lie, manipulate, don't think, oh, I'm so beautiful, I can get away with it. There's all crap in the end. There's all things that don't make sense in the end. Your actions is what they make in that you get further. Or if you not want to be a good person, only want you to have a success in life. I say it to you. I've been honest now. You can better be a person of value than a person of success. All the fame, anything, anything which will go away sometime. And then you only have your actions and the things that you have done. Once you know what to say, when you live life on your deathbed and, and uh, breathe your last air, look to a great life, a healthy life, a good life, an inspirational life that you can be proud on how you have life in the end. But you have succeeded in your life. Not only look back to what you, uh, how bad you've been to others, and how much uh, you have taken from others, and get away with it. Also, I also can suggest that you don't want that somebody make profit out of you, and say. Look how you beautiful, so I can do it. Look how beautiful I be. And give you such crap. Can you hear it from yourself? Look who, what you yourself, yourself say. Nah. And all you, and all humans. But that you been a human don't mean that you have make excuse for your mistakes. You have to learn from your mistakes and not make them over and over and over again. The most best thing you can do is be honest. Most situations, of course, if you've been alive of that situation, you will know 100% that you've been killed or executed or raped or what kind of things have you not been honest. Uh, if you've been honest, uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Don't play stupid. That you've been, that you have a beautiful or pretty, pretty face or cute face, don't mean that you've been stupid or something. It's also a choice, most of the ways. Of course, if you've been born with only 2% of your, of your brain or something like that, or normal say brain, of your, the brain of a child or something like that, but that part you also know what I mean. Focus more about the long time things instead of the short time things and the short time pleasures. Like, uh, get, uh, getting with your friends drunk 
and looked also to the after effects of all of all the things that you do or going with so much uh, people if you can possibly being a whore and if I say whore then I don't speak only to women I also think that men that sleep with a lot of uh, women mean whores my definition of whore is somebody that sleep with many people it's actually a euphemism for one slat In euphemism or language, yeah. Because Americans, Europeans, people don't can handle the truth and therefore lie and sucker coat or anything. If you know the truth, if you know the truth. Yeah, that's a lot of sense. So, be always truthful and honest. The lie, they manipulate. People that feel mistreated want to seek revenge. Also remember that, not always, but on a lot of cases. will always come back to you on some part you can run and run so much from your past but your past will always haunt you so don't lie about things being honest even if you're being painful Even if you think that you can go away with it. I know, I know. I just want to say this. I don't uh, try to take personal gains out of some situation. I've been only, to be honest. It cannot hurt sometimes, be honest. In a society where anybody is guilty. Yes. But I want not to live in the reality of the criminals. I want to live in the reality of honesty. You can change it, you can change the status quo if you want. But then we have to go in action. And use your, 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 your um, beautifulness for something good for one change. Instead that you use it for egocentric, selfish things. For example, we use it to stop the animal holocaust. And if you feel offensive by that title, there's actually Hitler himself have said Mein Kampf, the book where he have wrote that the animal that the animal that the Holocaust is actually basic on animal agriculture. Hitler's Hitler's uh, right hand. Himmler was a chicken farmer in the downtown of the German Reich there have been read a lot of uh, of Hitler's uh, Fairford recipes most of them if not all being meat based so the bullshit is out there you have only to accept it.
in the whole four years around something like twelve thousand Jews and mass mortars and the black people victims being murdered in a, in one year something like hundred uh, 150 billion innocent animals being murdered in the time of the Holocaust Jewish women have babies in their arms and Nazis ripped them away from them the same thing you do with other animals rip their babies away from them rip the baby cops away and put them on field farms rip the baby pigs away and the baby coat goats but want to have more arms open and we want to exploit them separate families from the children one technique that's all victimized use to break the spirit of them being this is why we call it we vegans call it the animal holocaust also it's not was a single but survivor of the how uh, escaped Nazi occupied Poland he said with their name. All the philosophers, all the leaders of the world, they have convinced themselves that man, the worst transgressor of all the species, is the crown of creation, and all other animals be nearly to providing with food, with clothing, with for entertainment. In relation to them, all men are Nazis. For the animals, it is an eternal Treblinka. In the relation to other animals, all men are Nazis. Human beings see oppression physically where they are being the victim. Otherwise, they are victimized blindly and without one talk. 